And now a man who needs no introduction because no one actually introduced him, here's Russ! Uh, I'll, I'll try again. <laughs> and now your host for the evening, the one, the only, Russ! <laughs> no, I'll uh, try again. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, tonight and every Monday night, because he's contractually obligated, the one, the only, Russ! Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> How are you, everybody? <laughs> last week, last Monday, we completely transformed this place. I wanted to just take one minute before we started tonight's show and just say bravo to all of you who are a part of our Midsummer stage. Everything was different, though. We were theater in the round. We had big circus acts, little tiny acts, all different kinds of acts. And now we're trying to re-find normal. Some of us are, of course, stumbling with that tendency to, after an opportunity to become British. And we must regroup and not be so damn British. So on behalf of all of us here at the stage. I think that about says it all. Please, please note that if any of us lapse into British, please say at some point. Right. Yeah. And give us a small nudging reminder to stay here in America where we belong. Thank you, and we shall move on. Um, you know, for my part, I, I, did, I did play a character. I, I, I spent my evening as an, uh, a foppish... Monty Python-esque idiot named Cecil, which, of course, lapsed into that accident. If I even talk about it too long, I will. And it was a weird experience to be so far away from you guys. I mean, that filter of being in character puts you at kind of a distance. And so it was really nice to come back in and, and be here with you guys as, as me. So first of all, thank you, and I'm glad to be back. <laughs> um, Secondly, I, character's been on my mind a lot because, well, obviously I did that. I spent about a month developing that character. You could tell because he had lots of rough edges. Um, but then, last Sunday, I had an opportunity to play a very different sort of character and an all-American character. Uh, for multiple years now, I have been Uncle Sam for the city of Rockwall. And Freedom Festival, where they had this amazing fireworks show, and I got to do all this. And, I, you know, I put on a costume, and I originally got the job, just to be perfectly honest. I was a stilt walker, and so I got the job. The reason I kept the job and got very involved in the, in the event is because I'm a character performer, and I didn't just walk around in a costume going, Hi, I'm dressed up as Uncle Sam. No, I, I became Uncle Sam the symbol, and I would stomp around and be a complete pain in the butt. I really was. But what happened over time was I would come swaggering in the room and little kids were like, Hello, Uncle Sam, we saw you last year. And that was great. Especially for me, because that means they might have actually seen me that year. Uh, it's going to be really weird if they ever replace me. Because we saw you last year and the guy's going to be like, what? <laughs> Please bring us back, solve the awkward. But then it, it, it went on. It wasn't just kids. I found that members of the armed forces were there and they would salute me like I was a giant flag as, I, as they walked by and I walked by them. And they'd call me sir with a lot of sincerity and I had to take that really seriously. <laughs> um, and, it, and it got to me and, and I thanked them and I thanked them for their service and then I found myself standing across from the greatest moment. There was a, an old guy who walks up to me and he's a very old man and he says, Sam, it's so good to see you. I haven't seen you since we were overseas together, leaving out some details for the small children that were with him. And he explains that these are his grandkids and he introduces them and he explains how he met Uncle Sam and he imbues so much story that I wish we had filmed it because it was like a civics lecture. It should have been on, you know, it should have been on, on something that we could have documented. But it was this amazing moment where this character that everybody knew, you know, everybody knows who Uncle Sam is, but this guy bought in, and he introduced in his kids. You saw the transformation go from, oh, some guy in a, oh, he's Uncle Sam, symbol of the nation. Can we get your autograph? <laughs> yeah. And you saw that transformation happen. It was amazing to me 
because uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm some schmuck in baggy pants, <laughs> that's who I am, uh, to go through that process and get to be a part of that. And, and now coming back here, I realize how interesting it was to spend a night as someone else here. And, and I took that on as a personal challenge, and I have with all of our theme shows, to get me out of the way, because on, in some ways I'm sort of stuck standing here before you, before every one of these shows, being sort of the, the symbol of, of this mental illness we call Monday night. Yeah! And, I, and I thank you for letting me do that and not giving me too many weird looks. I appreciate that. But also, I realize just how, how important that can be. But there's also an, there's an idiot in baggy pants standing here who sometimes gets a little lost. Last week, I wasn't me and because I was someone else, and I, I was very lost. And so it's nice to kind of stand up here and just take a moment and, and, be, and be the guy behind the character. And I wanted to try that tonight, so thank you for that. Thank you for that opportunity. Tonight, we're going to go away from our Shakespearean roots and back to the ridiculous assaults on vaudeville we do every week. And as we do, we're going to start seeing all of us are, are real inspired. I mean, some of us are recovering, but all of us are, are real inspired to bring their A-game, to start upping their game. And we're going to start seeing new characters and new ideas, especially as we move into the winter and, and as we're building things. I think it's really exciting that we have a place where people can try on a new character, even if it's just for one night, or reinvent themselves. I've watched people transform here, and it's magical. I'm so glad that we have this, and I'm so glad I get to share it with you right here at the open stage. Welcome. <laughs> 